Doc Walls, man, we in your campaign office, man. I mean, you know what? This is behind the scene. I'm impressed. We talked before we did this little piece. I'm impressed. Thanks, bro. I really am. And I'm pleased to meet but you. I'm gonna, but I'm going to have to ask the hard questions. Ask them. Do you really think you're going to win the we governorship, man? There's Come no on. way in the world we can lose this race, primarily because people need opportunity. And Pat Quinn, Dan Hines don't provide that opportunity. All they want to do is tax, 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 tax people. We want to provide jobs. We want to provide economic development for the entire state of Illinois. We want to help people unthink their economics and develop a smart economy that guarantees every Illinois resident a better quality of life. There's no way in the world people can refuse that message. If they do, they don't want change. I'm so glad you invited me here to your campaign office because I, I, I was uh, talking to people. And I sent out an email to people, all my friends and whatnot. I said, I don't know Bill Doc Walls. Mm -hmm. I don't trust politicians. Mm -hmm. So they said, well, you got to meet them. Well, I met you. I'm impressed, Thanks, man. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think people need to meet you in person, though. I'm glad you took the time. And that's the purpose of a campaign, to get around and talk to people and let them feel your heart, your soul, your ethos. Let them understand that you're a real person, that you're dedicated to this, that this not, it's not just something to do, but that it has a purpose. The bottom line is that can you can you win? Come on, be honest with you. Are you gonna beat Dan Hines and the Governor Pat Quinn? Come on, man. The answer is absolutely yes. We're gonna beat both of them, hands down. Why? Because it's necessary. We're gonna beat them because they don't have vision. We have a vision for the state of Illinois. We have a vision that's gonna help save our children, provide a better quality of life for our senior citizens, make certain our children get a superior public school education. We're gonna do that. We're gonna spread that message all across the state, and people are gonna to gravitate towards it. They're already responding real well to this campaign, so we have no reason to believe that we won't win. M M Mr. Walls, but do you have the money? Because I'm watching these commercials already. I'm watching Pat Quinn commercials, and Dan Hines has some real slick commercials. Can you be, do you have the money to win? You're here in my campaign offices, not just one. Oh, yeah. Offices. I mean, no, no. It's, it's pretty cool, my man. It's pretty, I'm, I'm impressed, though. I'm impressed. We have offices. We're spending money just like everybody else. Yeah, we'll win. We're just not wasting our money on commercials talking about how we're going to tax people. We're talking about how we're going to create jobs. Now, I, I'm, I don't like to ask traditional questions. This is, uh, you know, citizen media. How many votes do you need to actually win the uh, Democratic primary? In this Democratic primary, we'll need about 400,000 votes. 400,000? 400,000 votes. We can get most of those in Cook County and Illinois, uh, Illinois' upper, upper area. Now, I, people have told me even uh, Rod Blagojevich and uh, our president, Barack Obama, when he ran statewide in Illinois, he did not even carry any of the counties, any of the districts downstate. Yeah, a lot of it is centered right here in Cook County. Cook County provides 40% of the Democratic Party vote. And if we do real well here in Cook County, as we expect we will, and do real well in places like Carbondale and Champaign and East St. Louis and Waukegan and Rockford and Peoria, well, are you gonna go? Way, are you gonna go way down to Cairo? We've been doing that since uh, January. Mount Vernon, Decoin, Effingham. Yeah, you gonna go way down there? Yeah, yeah. You almost, you almost in Mississippi and Alabama. Right. I mean, yeah, really, like I'm really Arkansas. You're almost in Arkansas no when you get down about, to Cairo. No doubt about it. You going all the way downstate? So can you can you get? A, a, you may not win downstate, but can you get enough votes from downstate? We can, and we get a lot of support from downstate. We have people who contribute to the campaign who live downstate who don't look like me. You know, people of all different persuasions, all different ethnicities, people of different philosophies. So the thing about it is that when, when I see you and I talk to friends, they like, Doc Walls, he's just a perennial candidate. He ran for mayor. He ran for U.S. rep. And he's running again for governor. He ain't never won nothing, so why should I want to vote for a winner? Yeah, do you notice the, 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 the scenario there? Go from smaller to larger to larger still. You broaden your your scope, you broaden your perspective, you attach yourself to new people at every level. Every election is an organizing opportunity, and that's what happens. It's like what Lincoln did. Lincoln ran for seven offices, each time for higher office, and finally won the presidency of the United States of America. And that's how it works. No, but the, bon the bottom line is that, am I going to wa am I gonna waste my vote? And will my viewers waste their vote? No. Because, you know, a lot of people, they only like to come out. They got to come two blocks from their house. Mm -hmm. uh, they say, I'm going to vote. I'm not going to vote somebody who's going to lose. That's a waste of my time. Yeah, well, you take the time to walk down to the grocery store. You can take the time to walk to the polling place and vote, especially for a candidate who's fighting to make a difference. And the last thing you want to do is be accused of being that one vote that could have counted and made the difference. So my job is to inspire people to get out here and vote. I don't just want them to vote just because it's their civic duty and responsibility. 
I want them to vote because it's in their best interest. Now, now, let me just fire the people up. Now, what's your phone number? I'm going to try to put up on the screen. What's your My phone number? My cell phone number is 312. Well, well, your cell phone? Right. Wow. I'll put it on every email. Go right ahead. <laughs> cell phone number is what? 312-525-0010. Say it slow. 312-525-0010. Wallsforgov.com. Now, now, now I, I do this little citizen media show, so you give me a little break because we do YouTube and we do a little uh, public access here in Chicago. But the bottom line is that with the average person who doesn't have a little camera, can they come see you in person? Absolutely. You can come down to my campaign office at 1727 South Indiana anytime you want. Okay, will you come, will you come to, uh, to people's churches? Absolutely. I do nine churches on a Sunday on average. What about block clubs? We do block clubs, we do parties, we do bar mitzvahs, you name it. Okay, we somebody call you and say, I don't know Doc Walls, I don't trust Doc Walls. Would you, you, if you had the time, would you come to my porch? Would you come, would you come to a restaurant in my neighborhood? And would you come sit down and talk to me for a few minutes so I can see that you're real? I'll go anywhere, anytime to talk to people. I mean, I was born and raised right here in Chicago. There isn't a street or street corner that I haven't visited. I'm a native Chicagoan, but I'm also generally Illinois. I know the areas of Illinois, so yeah, I'm here to talk wait, to wait. people. I read, your, I read your bio on Wikipedia. You went to Horace Mann. Horace Mann Elementary, Chicago Vocational High School. And the C CVS. CVS. You went to public schools? You played football for CVS. We were public league champions back in 1975. So. What would you play, man? I played cornerback in high school. Wow. And you played college, too? Played college, played Tuskegee for two years. Wow. Yeah. I mean, you played football at Tuskegee. Yes, sir. Man, now, now, and, you, and now you're a lawyer too. I'm a law school graduate, Chicago Kent College of Law. That's How you come from public schools and be a lawyer, you man? You know, it's a, it's a tough, tough role, but we want our children to know that they can do it, man. And that's why we serve as examples. Now, will you approve public education when you become governor of Illinois? We're going to provide a superior public school education for each and every individual child. We're going to make certain that the state lives up this responsibility and provides 51% of the funding for public school education. 